Can you imagine being sentenced to death at only 23 years of age? Well, this is exactly what happened to this man, Jimmy Mupande. He was born in Bulawayo in 1976 and he spent majority of his life in this province. He spent majority of his young life working odd jobs as a painter until he eventually got a job from Mr. John Jenks. John lived at number 321 Avenue in the suburb of Famona in the city of Bulawayo. When Jimmy got this job, he now did not need to worry about accommodation because John gave him a place to stay in his workers' quarters. Mr. John appeared to live on his property by himself. It is not clear if he was once married or had children. I assume that maybe his children lived abroad. It is also important to note that Mr. John was 70 years old, so he was in his old age and required assistance around the house. Having someone help you with your gardening or your home is very important in your old age. But unfortunately, Jimmy saw this as an opportunity to take advantage of the old man. No one knows what influenced him or if they had had a quarrel. But on the 9th of November 2002, he snuck into his boss's house, stuck him on the back of his head with an axe, killing him instantly. When he saw that his boss had died, he then dug a shallow grave behind the house and buried the body. He then cleaned the crime scene and bent the clothes that he was wearing when he murdered his boss. Days passed and Jimmy lived like all was well. When people questioned him where his boss was, he lied that his boss had gone to Vic Falls on a trip. Four days after his heinous act, he decided to sell his boss's household property. He sold an imperial fridge and a cabinet, claiming that these were his. Unfortunately for him, he did not know that someone had filed a missing persons report at the police. So this was suspicious behavior that the police were looking for. When the detectives questioned him, he lied that his boss had gone on a trip to Vic Falls, but this was highly unlikely because he had not communicated this to any of his friends. The police did not believe him and further interrogated him until he admitted that he had killed his boss. When he realized that he had been caught, he then lied that his boss had sodomized him, which was highly unlikely for a 70-year-old man, but he claimed that he was retaliating for sexual abuse. When he saw that the police were not believing him, he then changed his statement. He now claimed that it was self-defense that his boss had attacked him first. This was also highly unlikely because no one uses an axe as a method of self-defense. After weeks of interrogation, he then admitted to his crime. He then changed his statement for the third time, claiming that his boss was not paying him his wages and he was retaliating. The police then took him to the house where he showed them where he had dug a shallow grave and buried John Jenks. The man who had bought furniture from him that belonged to John testified against him in court. The prosecution believed that he had killed this man for his household goods and it was all because of greed. The post-mortem revealed the extent of Mr. John's injuries. He had been stuck on the back of the head, which means that this was not a case of self-defense. This evidence proved that Jimmy had intended to kill John and it was not accidental. He was then found guilty of murder with actual intent and sentenced to death, but it was later revoked to life in prison because Zimbabwe abolished the death penalty. After spending almost 10 years in jail, he tried to appeal his case to the Supreme Court. However, it was dismissed, so he will spend the rest of his days in prison. He is currently serving a life sentence at Chikurubi Maximum Prison. He is now 48 years old and he threw away his youth all because of greed. This homicide file is a stark reminder that we must tame our impulses in our greed, lest we also follow the same fate. May John's soul continue to rest in peace. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't hesitate to check out my other video right here. Ciao.